All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking a lot about how movement is currently occurring inside of our game. And the main problem with it is that our player doesn't actually have any movement occurring. Well, he basically just stops moving after we let go of our W button, which maybe you might want, maybe you don't want. But in this case, I think that like we should start talking about how to make this kind of movement continuously occurring. So in order to do that, we kind of have to know how we're moving in the first place, which is happening right here. Move and slide, dir times speed. This moves us at whatever current speed that we have going on right now. Now, the problem with this is that I want us to not just instantly stop. So in order to make that happen, let's actually just create a variable that, uh, well, actually, let's see if you guys can do some problem solving and figure it out all yourselves. Make it so that that we build up a certain amount of speed and that that continuously stays on our character, even when we let go of our button. And for this, you're going to need a new, few new variables and stuff. I It's going to take some problem solving, guys. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. All right. So, I kind of like that the maximum speed is actually 200. So let's actually keep that in here as a max speed instead of what it is in there right now. And then we're going to also make a new variable. We're going to call it velocity. And velocity is going to be set to zero when we first start off. And then let's create a new variable called Excel, which is going to be our acceleration. And for our acceleration, let's make it something like 10 to start off with. And let's export that variable so that we can control it inside of our uh, 2D view right here. And specifically, if we actually go and click on the player now, you'll see Excel is right here now. And we can always just change that variable right there. Let's go back in. Let's start to play with things a little bit here. Instead of running move and slide like we were before, let's actually just set it equivalent to the velocity at any given time, right? But velocity also needs to go down at a certain rate, so let's also make that happen. So velocity will actually be equivalent to the maximum between two different numbers. The one number is going to be zero, meaning that at the very least it's never going to go negative. And the other number is actually going to be velocity minus a certain number. And let's actually make this some sort of friction. So a slowdown speed. And we already have an acceleration speed. Let's actually export a variable and we'll call it friction. And we'll make this equivalent to like 0.1. So it's a very slow slowdown. And then we will go down here and make it like so. Now, instead of actually having movement slide again set to this, let's actually go ahead and make it so that velocity is going to be equivalent to dir times Excel, but we don't actually want it to be equivalent to that number. We actually want it to be plus equals to that number, meaning that we will actually increase our velocity by this number, and then we will no longer move and slide based off of that. Let's go ahead and try this system now. I have actually haven't tried this yet, so I'm not 100% sure that's going to work. And, oh, this is y equals vector 2, and we'll make a vector 2, 0, 0 to start off with. We kind of want it to look like that and stop it and play it. 21. And again, I messed up here. I just set this equivalent. So what we'll actually have to do is velocity.x will be equivalent to this. And you know what? Because we can actually be moving at a negative speed at certain times when we're moving left, uh, I'm doing this completely wrong. So instead of this, what we're going to do is we're going to actually use lerp, guys. We're going to move from our velocity x. We're going to move towards zero, and we're going to do it at a weight of frict, right? And we're going to do the same thing with y. We're going to lerp it. And we're going to do velocity.y, zero, and we're going to run it from frict. And friction is actually probably too fast at that point, so let's actually make it 0 0.02 or something like that. All right, let's try that out now. It's now running. It accelerates, it goes extremely fast, and then we keep on moving for a little bit. Now the problem is that he can indefinitely accelerate. Is he indefinitely accelerating? Whoa, it's a lot harder to control. Whoa. All right, um, let's make friction actually even slower than that. Make it 0 .01, so half of what I just had it at. And I don't know if I'm actually 
uh, stopping at this uh, max speed. So what we're going to want is actually to be velocity equals max, or sorry, the minimum between, no, the maximum, no, no, that's right, the minimum between two different numbers. It's either going to be the velocity itself or the max speed. There we go. Once again, I've treated it like it's not a vector 2. So let's do dot x be equivalent to that. And velocity dot y will be equivalent to the min velocity. And this won't really work. The problem is we got to know what direction we're moving in and stuff at that point. Hmm, how should we do this? OK, so we'll use clamp then. So we'll do velocity dot x equals clamp. And what clamp does is it makes it so that you can only have a certain uh, value range inside of anything. So we'll actually do negative max speed and then max speed. And then so what this will do is it will either allow it to be velocity.x if that is a number that is within this range. Now if it's outside of this range, if it's less than negative 200, it'll actually set it to negative 200. And then if it's uh, more than 200, it'll set it to 200 itself. And then we do the same thing for velocity.y. Now let's go ahead and try that now. Woo! Now what's cool about this is that we can kind of like turn around and it'll take a delay on there. And this allows for some like better shooting in this game and stuff. So you can kind of dodge bullets while you're moving and stuff. But the thing is when you're shooting, you gotta be using your turning, the same thing that you're using to steer, you're using to aim your shots. Woo! Alright, so anyways, I think you guys get the point. We improved the, the whole system by just creating a general velocity. You get to learn about the clamp function, which is pretty cool. And we've gotten very messy inside of here, but that's okay. It's a small game anyway, so eh. Who cares? It's all about just learning some certain functions and stuff, right? So anyways, if you're confused about anything, let me down know in the comments down below. Hit that like button, the subscribe button. I think that I'm only going to do one more video inside the series now, guys, because I think that we're pretty much all set. Uh, two more videos. we got to do a uh, little, little something something to display uh, how many more uh, kills that we need, and then we need to do multiple levels. Then we're finished. We're done. All right? So anyways, thanks, guys, so much for hanging out with me. Have a great day. Bye.